So a few days ago, I posted a video from Supercomputing 2023 about this, AMD's MI300A. 24 Zen 4 cores, we now know they're at 3.7 gigahertz, and there are six GPU chiplets. As it says here, 228 GPU compute units. Come on, zoom in onto the specs, Jeff. So 128 gigs of HBM3, this is the eight high stack. Um, and this is going into quad socket systems for HPC. If we move along AMD's uh, disclosures, we have this. This is the big ass GPU. Uh, this, is, this weighs at least two, two and a half, three pounds. Uh, that's about a kilo just over in, in, in normal people speak. What that's got in it is one of these. This is AMD's Instinct MI300X. This is the GPU that's gonna compete against NVIDIA. They showed some benchmark numbers. So let, let's go over synthetics first. More tops, more flops, more compute, 192 gigabytes of HBM3, that's a 12 high stack, that's the brand new stuff. 5.3 terabytes per second of bandwidth between the GPUs. See if you can get a close up of that. And even look at the back, look at all those pins. It's somewhat insane. It almost looks like a socketable product. And guess what? It's fairly modular. We asked about GPU versions of this and they said, can't comment on future products. Standard response, but I really want to see a GPU version of this, uh, a PCIe version of this. So they're going to have systems with eight of these called the AMD Instinct platform. That's going to compete against NVIDIA's HGX, DGX. And on the actual benchmarks we saw, for machine learning training, about the same as NVIDIA, but in terms of inference, we're looking at 20 to 30% better. AMD is very clear that it's also better in performance per watt, up to 2x. They won't tell us the pricing, but better total cost of ownership. Um, AMD expects to make $2 billion from these next year. That's what they've told uh, the finance guys. Um, that's quite a lot of chips, and they say they have enough supply chain and packaging to deal with them all. More on this as, we get as we're able to get some of these in the lab and test.